proud fam i hope you guys are doing amazing because you guys mean a lot to me every single one of you guys watching my content every single day highly highly appreciate it you guys have no flipping idea thank you so much for stopping in please don't forget to leave a like on the video share it with a friend if you enjoyed it, it really does help out a lot within growth and getting things going and people are coming in by the hundreds every single day and so i'm so thankful for every single one of you if you're stopping for the first time like i said please subscribe i would love to have you guys in on the journey today's video is going to be on how to get your comments to roll call and now i know this is kind of a touchy topic because some people are going to be like all for it like hey dude that's just super cool that you made the video just kind of for the guys that do want to know how you're getting black smoke to come out your tailpipe um but for other people there's going to be people that they just can't help but absolutely tear you apart in the comments because oh smoke doesn't mean horsepower and you know you're just ruining your truck and all this different stuff which is if you if you feel that way i don't know why you're watching the video but those of you who want to know this this is for you and it's not like a big secret thing i mean this stuff is pretty pretty well known and pretty um easy to do most of it, it doesn't require a lot some things you do got to watch out for is your fuel mileage is probably going to go to crap for the most part if you're horsing all the time that's just a rule of thumb for any vehicle really you got to watch your torque converter you got to watch your you know, transmission on these trucks especially these dodges when you start to you know increase fuel supply you're going to increase horsepower you're going to i mean it's going to it can do some work on your torque converter and your transmission so you just really got to uh you got to watch that especially if you are one of those guys that's notorious for hammering down on your throttle if you're increasing your fuel a lot it's going to be even worse for you sorry to say it but you're going to watch that transmission and you might have to kiss it goodbye so just keep all that stuff in mind i'm not saying it's going to happen but i'm just saying you got to keep those things in consideration when you're doing this because those are things that could happen so let's get into it the first thing that I gotta tell you that um, basically is pretty much for this truck. This is the 12 valve, 1996 12 valve Cummins. Easiest way to get it to roll call. Everybody knows about this for the most part. If you own a 12 valve or if you know a guy with 12 valve, you know about 12 valves, everybody says make it a number zero fuel plate or you know chop your fuel plate off you know at the end or take it out completely. Some guys, um, basically what that's gonna do is allow a lot more fuel to be fed to your injectors and basically that's going to increased fuel and since these injectors are in that fuel plate is designed specifically for certain size injectors to get a certain amount of horsepower and torque efficiently through the truck um, basically what that's going to do is it's going to over fuel the injectors and you're going to get the black smoke which is basically just unburnt fuel so if you didn't know that that's what it is it's not more horsepower it's just unburnt fuel pretty much wasted diesel is the best way to put it um, but it doesn't sound fun when you say it like that but that's basically what it is it's just wasted diesel and nonetheless that's just kind of all it is um, however there can be some horsepower gains to these mods but at the same sense like i said the black smoke itself is not necessarily performance okay so what's been done to my truck to get it to do what it does and i'll try to get you some video clips here in a bit while the truck's warming up while i'm doing this intro basically the truck has 50 horsepower nozzles on the injectors as a 100 horsepower injection pump on it it's got a number zero fuel plate which if you don't know what that is basically let's just imagine there's a giant l in the fuel plate right the, sh the uh, fuel plate's shaped like a giant l but it's obviously you know um a lot thicker obviously i mean it's you get the idea um it's really blocky but basically there's a little more to it than that almost like a stair step looking fuel plate on it basically what they do you've got this let's just as an example there's an l shape um fuel plate and basically what they do um it's basically like thick both directions uh, and they basically just chop off the front of that so it makes the fuel plate completely flat that's the best example i could give you at the time and uh, basically what that does, like I said, it allows more fuel to be fed to your injectors nonetheless. And end result, more fuel, can't burn at all. So you get black soot to come out your tailpipe because you can't burn all the fuel. That's what black smoke is. It's just unburnt diesel. And basically what this truck also has is a four inch straight pipe turbo back exhaust on it, which obviously if you have mufflers and stuff, that's going to catch some of that soot and kind of keep it, clean it or clean some of that exhaust before it heads out and it also keeps the truck a little bit dimmed down in terms of sound as well but um, straight piping it is also going to increase 
the amount of soot that you see come out your tailpipe. Um, not necessarily increase it, but it, you're definitely going to be able to see more of it um, when you take out your mufflers and all that jazz. It's kind of catching it up back there um, from being able to come out your tailpipe. And uh, for the most part, that's that's basically what's been done to this truck. 50 horsepower nozzles on the injectors, number zero fuel plate, straight pipe exhaust, and that's pretty much it. Oh, well, there's a 3K governor spring pack brake. There's a, there's a couple other really minor things, but for the most part, that's, that's pretty much it. Nonetheless, it it gets the truck to puff some smoke now for these trucks I mean, you don't have to do everything that that did probably you can still get black smoke even if you don't do all that stuff roll coal as they like to refer to it as basically just deleting your fuel plate or making it a zero you're going to get to roll coal like i said you got to keep in mind you're going to strain your torque converter a lot more and you're going to strain your transmission more because that increased horsepower in fuel delivery is going to strain that stuff more it's all designed for a certain purpose a certain amount of power and when you jank with that kind of stuff especially on these dodge trucks because their transmissions are kind of sensitive to that they're pretty much designed to be bone stock and any increase pretty much is going to screw up your transmission just because that's just how they are it's not that they're just so fine-tuned it's just that that's just they just literally they just gave you transmission just enough to sustain the current stock power and that's about it and that's all you're pretty much all you're able to do unless you want to build your transmission without any more talking i just want to get to kind of like how how i roll coal and uh basically just the way to go about it to make it happen and uh, to get your results. So without any further ado, let's get into this. I'm gonna show you what I do. Now I'm gonna do most of this testing just right here on my road because uh, it is probably one of the most low key roads around. There's not really any traffic on this road, so I think we should be good. If you go and you start rolling coal on people, you're gonna get a lot of people hating on you. So don't just go dumping coal on people for whatever reason. But I do, I do do it when let's say somebody's riding my butt or they're tailgating me or just trying to create problems, road rage stuff just because some people are just nuts out of their mind. Sometimes I'll pump my throttle a little bit just kind of be like, uh, bro. Got the truck in D for diesel because that is, of course, what that means. Okay, road's clear. Now here is going to be the first method to roll coal and that's basically just coming from pretty slow, if not almost stopped. And what you're gonna do is just take your throttle and just pump it. And you'll see all that slip back there. Instead of like slowly accelerating, which is how you would normally drive, that is how you do it that way. So it can definitely it can definitely strain some parts on the transmission, your torque converter and stuff, and you're dumping that fuel to create that power so fast all at once. It's definitely not the healthiest thing for your truck. So I do not recommend just driving around hammering that all the time because it is not the best thing for your truck. Now there's a second gen right there, V8, 2500. Anyways, uh, basically that's how you do that. This truck will pretty much leave a smoke trail anywhere I go without a ton of effort put in. Basically what you want to do is not really hammer down your throttle, but just slowly slowly increase it as you go and you'll start to feel the truck shift into its higher gears and what you want it to do is shift into overdrive, I'm pretty sure is what it's called. Um, shift into overdrive, which is, I'm not sure how many gears these big, the, this automatic has, it's either four or five, but I have a feeling it's four for some reason. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. So anyways, basically you want it to shift into a higher gear and then you'll see the RPMs drop from like 1800 to 1100 or something like really quick. Actually, there's the second gen for sale right here. I had no idea. And it's it's a Cummins. Wow. I might have to come take a look at that. Looks a little bit rusted, but diesel's a diesel. Might have to apply a little bit more throttle to get it to shift. Okay, see it just dropped. Now watch. I don't know how well you can see that. I'm gonna try to get on another road here and give you a better, better look. But basically what you do, you'll feel a sweet spot in the throttle. You'll be like, you'll be accelerating and then it'll drop into about that 1100 RPM range. And then uh, you're just gonna slowly lay into your throttle just a little bit, not hammer down, just slowly bump in just a little bit more. And you'll feel it just like, just, you'll feel it dumping the fuel basically. 
and uh, that's how you're gonna get that uh, that's how you're gonna get that coal to roll so I'm gonna go over here on this road not usually much traffic if any try to get you another glimpse here let it shift I don't know if you can see my okay you hear it shift Kind of let off my throttle a little bit, let it shift down in. Okay, now again. And that's how you do it that way. So I hope I gave you a good enough example of that if you can hear me over the wind. Uh, but that is basically how you roll coal on the fly if you're cruising. One more time. Pretty easy. Um, and I just wanted to let you know that is how I roll coal while driving. Um, I'll try to explain that one more time here when we get down on this road and it's not so noisy. I'm actually gonna roll up this window here to decrease some of the wind noise. So basically that is how I roll coal in my truck. Now I know I do understand I'm going to get some hate for this. And now keep in mind people, I did not roll coal on anybody during the making of this video. I made sure the roads were open, roads were clear, and it was all to myself when I did that. I just wanted to share because there's been a lot of people asking how to roll coal, do a video on how you roll coal. I wanna know what you did to your truck. I wanna know how you know I can tweak my second gen to roll coal or my 12 valve. Basically that's, that's how I do it. Like I said, if you're at a stop or you're rolling, let's say under 10, and you just want to throw your you know your pedal down real quick you're going to dump smoke um, soot roll coal whatever you want to refer to it as with supporting mods such as number zero fuel plate maybe 50 horse injectors and a straight pipe exhaust turbo back exhaust that is a way to roll coal and like I said there is another method and that is if you shift into one of your higher gears and you're cruising down the road let's say Whatever your highest gear is, I don't, I really, I feel really dumb right now. I can't remember um, if this is a four speed or not, this truck. Um, anyways, shift into your fourth gear basically as if you were cruising um, your overdrive. And then what that's going to do is you slowly then lay into your pedal just a little bit. You don't hammer down. Just when it shifts in and it's at about 1100, 1200 RPMs, more about 1100, you just slowly lay into your throttle just a little bit more. And what that's gonna do is Basically, it's gonna dump more fuel into those injectors and it's going to make it smoke a lot. So I'm gonna get out really quick and just show you around my truck so you guys can see it because I do know that there are gonna be some people interested in the truck, um, those of you who have not seen it yet. Give you a little walk around of the truck here so you guys can see it, those of you who have not seen it yet. Got my fourth gen bumper, light bar, spider headlights. Gonna pop the hood so you can see underneath. Ox beam light bar, this is not a curved, but I do plan on getting a curve, and then maybe dropping this light bar and into these holes right here and have it fill this gap and then with the straight and then put a curved light bar up there. It's under the hood. And here's where your fuel plate's gonna be. There's your AFC housing right there. And uh, your fuel plate's gonna be underneath of that basically this is the truck painted coils I painted my valve covers and my uh, what you call it air horn LED tail lights uh, spider headlights LED third brake light new bumper new front bumper new wheels and tires all this stuff and every mod that you guys see on this truck that you might be interested in from the exhaust tip to the wheels and tires even the most high-end stuff every link is in the description below for all the trucks all the mods done everything that we can do except for injectors because uh, we don't have links to that kind of stuff but everything else is in the description below if you guys want to check out and here's my axle dump And again, that is a four inch turbo back exhaust, no mufflers, anything all the way back. And basically that is how I get my 12 valve Cummins turbo diesel to roll coal. Those of you who were wondering, thank you so much for sending in the uh, for video that you wanted to see. 
Really do appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not joined the family yet, please subscribe. We are growing every single day by the hundreds and I would love to have you guys join in on that journey. My build progress, what I'm going along, what I'm doing, and uh, the new stuff coming up on the channel. I'm gonna be moving soon. I'm gonna be moving out to Ohio. So if you guys are over in Ohio, I might have to stop by and see me sometime, maybe do a truck meet somewhere out that way. I'm gonna be buying another build here very soon within the next couple of months and I would love to have you guys join in on that journey and see as we go. So thank you so much if you have not yet join the family please subscribe leave a like on the video comment below and i'll catch you in the next video peace doing what i love going day to day but i know it takes time and i'm patiently waiting sometimes i contemplate cause one day you feel so close and the next is out of sight but i know i gotta hold on tight to go back to just going out every night like if i'm about to let it go now i can live all right live a normal life doing nine to five but i know i'm more than that i gained this skill wasn't born with that at the end of the life it's a memory